what is going on everybody and welcome back literally this is just after the israel fight so you guys didn't miss anything but we back on this career mode we just got a new fight contract look at those numbers we have made it in this ufc look at dana white giving us the big bucks 160 and 160 if we win we're doing work right here we did come up with some sort of bonus to try to see if we could make it happen. It's a small bonus. It's just to appear on a pay-per-view main event. We can do that with no problem. We just want the bonus and get that 5% popularity boost. But that being said, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody's enjoying the series. I am enjoying the series. I do hope everybody out there staying healthy, having fun over the summer, beating the heat, all that you can as you can see look at our stats we're number three we jumped up we are almost ready to go after the champ we are 16 wins zero losses we are beasting and that's what i like to see i appreciate you guys rocking with the series i've been having a ball and i hope you guys have too we're gonna go ahead and jump in and get to our first fight and see what we can do let's see who it is unfortunately this is not a title fight obviously but this dude is number four this man chris weldman is number four in the rankings so i'm not too mad at that he's right below us he's trying to make moves as well but i'm not too mad at that the hype right now for the fight is medium we got six weeks of training camp so we're gonna get a good training camp in and you already know thanks to that contract we get 160,000 if we just show up 160,000 if we win so we making moves here he's 40 years old the man is old and we're gonna try to put him up out of here he's 6'2 185 pounds and has a 78 reach Ooh, he's got some long arms so we are gonna see what we can do we're gonna go through training camp and I'm gonna get you guys into the fight as soon as I can coming up next we get to this UFC middleweight division fight All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this middleweight fight. Weidman is 10 years his senior. He will have a four inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of 15 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Baldwin, New York, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world. Chris Weidman! At 
and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a boxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of New York, lights out. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Let's see, any sportsmanship? No, no sportsmanship. <laughs> wow, people don't be doing it. That's funny. You know how we do. We're going to start the jab early. We're going to start the... Woo, he stunned me. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to try to do work. We're going to try to get up. Let's see. Wildman. Okay, Wildman. <laughs> We're going to see what we can do. Come on. Come on. I defended it. I defended it. Come on. Let me try to get up. Ah. Come on. Ah, he's got it. All right. Let's see if we can get out of this. Wildman's doing work. We're going to stay away from Mo. He's trying. He's trying. No, 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 no. We're going to escape, buddy. Come on. Let me get up. Let me get up. I got a little bit of ground game on me now. I don't have a lot, but I do have a little. Oh, he's hitting me. Put your hands up. Come on. Get your stamina up. Oh, he's trying. Oh, my. I'm definitely hitting this this defense and it's not working. Look how fast my stamina just went away. What is going on here? I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Oh, oh. oh missed me. Come on. Under two minutes now to go. Alright, we're up. Nah, we're gonna take it to him. We're gonna take it to him. We're gonna take it to him. No, Wildman. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. No more wrestling for you. No more wrestling. I have the power. I am strong. I have that knockout lightning power. He is already out. Wildman didn't even know what was happening in the first round. That's what I'm talking about. Let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched well. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta's call stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment. This Unfortunately, Chris Wildman, he didn't have anything for me. I had straight power on my side. He didn't have any kind of say once I got up off that ground. He kept me on the ground, and he was doing it from that position. But once I got locked in and got back up, I already knew it was over. He couldn't say nothing. Couldn't put his hands up. He couldn't defend against my power. That's what I love about my character, his knockout power. And it's good. We are on our way. Chris Wildman was the former UFC champion. So we're going to see. We're going. We're going against that champion. For that, we got to go ahead and wrap it up here. I appreciate you guys. I know it was a quick fight, but sometimes it be like that. I appreciate you guys watching. If you can, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely ring the bell for more. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you on the next one.